Hello, Vikings. Here's another uh, Vikings tips and tricks uh, for for you guys. Uh, today, I'll be doing a little bit uh, on equipment um, and particularly a tool that I put together that maybe will help a number of you out that I'll make sure gets posted with the blog um, and the link to it and how to use it uh, will be part of this tutorial. So uh, one of the things that um, most people uh, have have questions about is, well, how do I make sure I have the right equipment for what I'm trying to do, whether it's attacking or defending or uh, building, learning, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So, uh, when you're when you're looking to build new equipment or or fuse new equipment, most people are going to start over here uh, in the the forge and start looking around and going, okay, I need building equipment. What's the best building equipment I can get? And you start scrolling up and down, and then you're then you're comparing that against your armor and trying to figure out, okay, is the invader stuff better? What do I have here? What can I craft? Um, and keep wandering around and around trying to figure out, you know, what, what's the best thing for me, knowing kind of in your head what, what you've got in uh, stock already at what level. Uh, but in most cases, you, it's a lot of moving around trying to figure it out. Um, and just as a side note, each material has a specific benefit. Uh, so if you're trying to get learning speed, uh, you're going to need diamonds. Uh, if you're trying to get cavalry offense, you're going to need hide. If you need killer offense, it doesn't matter on standard equipment. It's always the same. Lead leads to killer offense, et cetera, et cetera. Uh, and I can maybe do a video on, on the, the comparison there. <clears throat> but remember, you have six equipment slots. So when you're trying to do any one particular thing, whether it's building or learning, you want to try and balance around uh, that material. You can either uh do one of two strategies right uh one is that you get the best possible piece of armor that does a particular thing and then you round out your hero with other stuff so you don't have to keep changing your equipment out or you do lower levels while you have the material such as diamond um, and you spread it around because uh when you upgrade a particular piece of uh diamond for example going from uh simple to unusual to usual to rare to epic to legendary uh each step up you're chewing up four resources for not four times the amount of benefit you're only getting two times the amount of benefit each time you go up uh, it's actually better in many cases to have six pieces of equipment that have learning on them at much lower levels uh, because you get the benefit of all those six pieces of equipment that have uh, those lower level percentages. Um, and you're you're not chewing up your diamonds uh, as, as quickly um, and you're not waiting forever and ever and ever to get that next benefit. So uh, one of the things I'm, I'm going to share with you guys as you can kind of see here in the background behind uh, behind my Android uh, emulator uh, is some is some spreadsheets. Uh, in particular, I've documented every single one of these uh, pieces of equipment, whether it's stand standard or um, uh, Invader, and I put it all into a spreadsheet. And I'm gonna, uh, the link uh, should be available. And, and when you click on that link, you should see something like this from uh, Google, because uh, these are all stored in, in Google Drive. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is if you have a Gmail account, uh, if you don't, you might wanna just create a false one uh, specific to your character. Uh, you would open this in Google Sheets so you can actually work with it. Uh, or if you have Microsoft Excel, uh, and I'll show you that piece as well, you can download it. So sheet one really is the important one. This has got all the different pieces of equipment. So I've already created, I've already done this open in Google Sheets, uh, and I can actually edit and work with this thing. So uh, this spreadsheet again has everything on it, all the way from Amulet 1 to Amulet 50, uh, as well as the percentage bonuses and what the bonus type is. Uh, and how you can use this sheet in Google Sheets is uh, pretty simple. You see, you can say, you know, I just want to see uh, amulets, or let's say in this particular case, I want to see just boots. I'm only caring about boots right now because I want to know what the best possible boot is for, let's say, let's just clear them all and say building. We want, we want to know what the best stuff for building is. Actually, let's not not even filter it by boot. Let's uh, unfilter everything. Let's select all. Let's make sure that we just get building speed again. Clear. Building. Oops. Come on. There we go. Building speed. Okay. Now I'm going to go over here to the bonus amount, and I'm going to go Z to A. Give me the largest to smallest. And we can see pretty quickly that the amulets uh, kind of rank out over here um, at the top of the, as they usually do with learning and building speed. But the victor's bracelet is definitely by far, I want two victor's bracelets on, on my arm when I'm trying to do some learning, or excuse me, some building. And then uh, at this point I go down, okay, what's the first helmet that I can get? Oh, that's 15. 
Uh, but there's two that have 15. So this is where the spreadsheet actually comes in a little bit more handy than, than the Google Sheets. Uh, brown helmet and Canis mask, because now I don't know what the other benefits are because they're the same. So which one is going to be the right one for me? Um, but as you can see, there's only one weapon in the standard arsenal that uh, is, uh, is there only one weapon? I'll be darned. Vanquisher's Blade is your only choice uh, in this particular case for um, uh, building uh, in no invader gear at all that does building. Look at that. Interesting. Uh, I, good thing I have Vanquisher's Blade. Okay, and then uh, you can kind of go down here and go, oh, the first boots is the Barbarian's Boots at 12%, and we know that's invader gear because that's going to be tough to get all the way to legendary status. Uh, and then... Where's a helmet? Uh, you know, we already talked about the helmets, but these are these are comparisons. So, uh, one, you can go over to sheet number two, uh, and you can try and find it in the, the list. Let's see if we can quickly find it. Uh, what was I looking for again? It was the brown helmet and canis mask. Brown helmet and canis mask. Should have been a little bit more prepared for this. This is why I don't like using the online version because I can't quickly do it. Canis mask and barbar. So here's a canis mask, and we can kind of highlight that row and go, okay, what it, what is that? And this is a pain in the butt, right? So we don't want to do that. So the other way we can do it is we unfilter everything, and then we just filter on the equipment name and just filter on canis mask and uh, vanquisher's blade, and we'll get to all the different things. But let's quickly jump over to the actual Excel version. Uh, and uh, so I downloaded this to my, my uh, Microsoft Excel. Um, and now I have uh, the same sheet, but I've created a pivot chart. Um, and if, for those that don't know how to create a pivot, you just hit insert pivot table. Um, and then what it does is it creates a whole new sheet like this one. I've already reformatted it and done a bunch of stuff. I, I put the, uh, the columns and the rows in the right places and that sort of thing. So if you look at the, what I've done here is I've just put some filters of some of the, the types. Bonus type is across the top. Equipment name is across the left. And some of the bonus amount is uh, in the middle. So let's get rid of that. Um, and in this case, what I can do is, is I have much more control and much more availability. So let's say I want to see the, the top learning speed. I'm just going to sort largest to smallest. Oh, I'm just on armor. I was already doing that. So all. Let's do that again. And wow, we got a lot of stuff with learning speed. There's a ton of it out there. And if we look, look quickly, wolf figuring and falcon figuring come out on top. But wolf figuring only has learning speed. There's nothing else. I do believe it costs four diamonds, uh, however, at the top, top notch to get to that level. And the falcon only requires two. Um, which is why a lot of people have the Falcon figurine, because it comes with boot production and silver production, myself included. Uh, I think I have an epic and an unusual currently, but I'm trying to get those up to, uh, to uh, uh, legendary, obviously. Uh, but then I can also filter on the other pieces of equipment that are not uh, that, a little bit more quick than in the other, the other example. And I see pretty quickly Daredevil's armor is definitely the thing you want to have when you're trying to do learning for armor. Um, and then if I go and go boots, okay, what are my boots? Uh, I've got two boots, and now I can quickly see that the Gascon boots are going to give me a bunch of cavalry. And it looks like I'm going to get some silver production and range offense out of the scaled. So that's how you use the spreadsheet in the, the two different formats. Uh, and that was the intent of this particular video. Uh, try and avoid all that scrolling and scrolling and scrolling, and hopefully this sheet works out for you. All right, thank you very much for your time, and have a good day.